Influenza, more commonly called the flu, is a virus that affects the lungs, nose, and throat and that spreads easily through droplets from coughing, sneezing, or talking. Symptoms of the flu can include fever, chills, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headache, fatigue, and sometimes diarrhea and vomiting. While most of us have had the flu or know someone who's had it, many of us don't realize how serious it can be. Each year, flu infections send hundreds of thousands of people to the hospital and cause tens of thousands of deaths from related pneumonia, sepsis, organ failure, heart attack, and more. The raised risk of heart attack is particularly alarming, with risk going up six times within a week of a confirmed flu infection, even in people without a history of heart disease. Infants, people with weakened immune systems, people from racial and ethnic minority groups, and older adults are at the highest risk of complications from the flu, including hospitalization and death. Risk goes up with age because our immune systems decline and we are more likely to have chronic diseases, both of which can make it harder for our bodies to fight off infections and the complications that come with them. Thankfully, most young and otherwise healthy people who get the flu will recover in a few days to less than two weeks without any serious complications. But while they recover, they often miss work and can't care for their families or deal with their other responsibilities. And even if their symptoms are mild, they are still contagious and can get other people sick who might be more vulnerable to serious complications. The good news is that you can prevent the spread of flu by hand washing, covering coughs and sneezes, avoiding others when you're sick, and getting a flu shot each year. Vaccines work by giving the body instructions for fighting back against bacteria, viruses, or other infectious organisms. While the flu vaccine can cause arm soreness, muscle aches, and fatigue in some people, side effects are generally mild and go away on their own. Severe side effects are rare, and despite what you may have heard, the flu vaccine can't give you the flu. If you feel a little under the weather after your vaccine, this indicates that it's working and causing your body to build up protection. Remember, it would likely be much worse if you got the actual flu. Everyone needs to be vaccinated to protect their health and the health of their loved ones against potentially serious infections. Because as more people are vaccinated, there are fewer opportunities for an infectious disease to spread. The flu vaccine is needed every year because it is updated annually to best fight the constantly changing virus circulating in your community. Because people of color may be at higher risk for serious flu complications, the flu vaccine is especially important for them. There are a number of different flu vaccines available that differ based on how they're developed, how they're administered, and how they boost the immune response. People ages 65 and older should be sure to talk to their healthcare provider about a high-dose or adjuvanted flu vaccine. The high-dose vaccine contains four times the dose of a regular flu vaccine, causing a better immune response than a regular dose. The adjuvanted vaccines include ingredients that help create a stronger response. Flu vaccines have been rigorously tested and then determined to be safe and effective by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. While the effectiveness of flu vaccines does vary from year to year, every year they keep millions of people from getting the flu and prevent tens of thousands of hospitalizations and thousands of deaths. And for those that get the vaccine and still get the flu, their symptoms are usually milder, their risk of complications is lower, and their recovery is faster. Protection from the flu vaccine decreases over the flu season, especially in older adults. In order to be best protected through the whole flu season, the ideal time to get vaccinated is by the end of October. If you're due for other vaccines, like a COVID-19 or shingles vaccine, it's okay to get them in the same visit. Getting a flu shot is a proactive step you can take to protect yourself and loved ones and help reduce symptoms caused by influenza that resemble COVID-19. You can get a flu vaccine at most healthcare provider offices, neighborhood pharmacies, health departments, community health clinics, and in some workplaces. Most health insurance plans, including Medicare, cover the flu vaccine with no additional cost to you. If you or a loved one is experiencing flu-like symptoms, call your healthcare provider right away. They can give you a quick test to determine if it's the flu or something else. You may also be able to use an at-home test to see if you have the flu or another infection like a cold or COVID-19. 
If you do have the flu, your healthcare provider may prescribe an antiviral drug that helps keep the virus from replicating and making the infection worse. They work best if started within 48 hours of your first symptoms, so call your provider early if you think you have the flu. Antiviral drugs often lessen symptoms, shorten the recovery time, and prevent complications. In certain situations, some can even prevent infection in people that you've been in close contact with, like your family members or coworkers. They can also have side effects and not everyone should take them, so talk to your healthcare provider to see if they're right for you. Don't skip your flu vaccine this year. And if you do get the flu, stay home except to get medical care. Keep away from others and watch for possible emergency warning signs. If you experience any of the following symptoms, get medical help immediately. Warning signs may be different in children. While the flu can be serious, it can be prevented and its impact lessened. Talk to your healthcare provider and go to agingresearch.org slash our best shot to learn more about vaccines and how they work.